Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I'm so glad you're here with me because today we're talking all about dry crepey under eye skin. How many of you deal with dry crepiness under your eyes? As we get older, I feel like it just happens to the majority of us because I hear it all the time. People are always asking me, how do I fix? How do I help this dry under eye situation, this crepey under eye situation? Because that really makes you older. You can have like amazing skin on your face, but if you have dry crepey under eyes, it just makes you look older. So I'm here to share with you guys all the tips and tricks and why you have that and how to fix it. So let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before we get into this video. Hit the subscribe button and join our Skin Truth skincare community here where we're all in this together. We're all in this to get the best skin of our lives and I promise subscribe and you will get your best skin. I am 43 years old and I have better skin now than I did when I was 20 years old. I got into the skincare business about 12 years ago. I work with a cosmetic doctor. I have many friends who are dermatologists, cosmetic medic surgeons, and I've been in this business for a long time. So I'm here to share with you guys the best skincare tips to get you your best skin. So subscribe, hit the bell notification so you do not miss any videos, and then pop on over to my Instagram, join my Instagram family because I'm on there pretty much every day with more skincare tips, skincare routines, product advice, supplements, because if you know me, then you know that your best skin truly starts from your health within. So I'm big on supplements. I am big on internal balance. You will get more information on that on my Instagram daily, plus kids and mom life and pets and all of my chaotic life over on my Instagram. So join me there as well, but let's get to it, you guys. If you want to figure out why you have dry, crepey under eyes and how to fix it, truly how to fix it, then let's get into it. Okay, you guys, let's get into why you have dry, crepey under eyes because there's definitely reasons why some of us have it more than others. So in general, the skin under your eyes is way more thin, way more sensitive than the rest of your face. It is more susceptible to damage and inflammation, and it also has way fewer sebaceous glands than the rest of your skin does on your face. So what that means is your under eyes are not producing oil. It's not producing that layer of moisture to your skin under your eyes that keeps it hydrated. So yes, your skin under your eyes is already prone to dryness, but there's things that you are doing and there's things that are occurring daily that are really actually accentuating the dryness to your under eyes. So that's what we need to figure out. That's what I share with you guys some of the reasons why you have more dry under eyes than other people who we all have less sebaceous glands under eyes. We all have more sensitive skin around our eyes, but certain people suffer from more dryness and here's why. Okay, so reason number one, weather. Now, if you live in a very cold environment or you know, even during the winter, if it is very cold and it's windy and it's just blowing that cold, cold air, you are going to suffer more dryness around your eyes. You know when it's really cold out and you produce tears because it's cold? It's actually the salty tears that are coming out of your eyes that are actually gonna even dry out your under eyes more. And trust me, I've been there. I grew up in Pennsylvania. That's where I was born. And the winters were so cold that I remember stepping outside and literally my eyes would tear up and you couldn't do anything about it. So there are certain things like cold, cold weather that's going to dry out your eyes even more. But then on the opposite spectrum, sunny, you know, hot weather. If you're out in the sun and you're not protecting your under eyes with SPF, that sun is really, really damaging and creating dryness to your under eyes. You always have to be protecting the under eyes. And then that kind of goes along the same lines as my next tip, low humidity. If you have low humidity and it's dry in the air, I live in California and it is so dry here in the winter, I always have a humidifier running, especially by my bed at night. It just creates that more, you know, humid, air in my room so your skin doesn't dry out as much. If you live in a dry climate, 
If you are, you know, in some place where it's very low humidity, you are going to notice because again, there's no sebaceous glands around your eyes like that. You're going to notice that your under eyes become specifically way more dry. So low humidity is a huge factor. If you live somewhere where it's low humidity, even in the winter, if it's just the winter where you, you know, suffer from low humidity, put a humidifier in your bedroom, in your living room, wherever you kind of like spend the most time, it's gonna make a world of difference. Okay, let's talk about your daily beauty mistakes that is causing you more dryness around your eyes. Number one, your concealer. There are so many concealers on the market that have terrible ingredients for your under eyes that is causing dryness to your under eyes, that is like literally inflaming your under eyes. It's filled with alcohol, ingredients that are drying out your under eyes. So you never want to use concealers that are terrible for your under eyes because it's creating dryness. You have to be very careful on what you apply to your under eyes. Another beauty mistake that a lot of people make is they use makeup wipes to take off their makeup at night. If you are still taking off your makeup with makeup wipes, oh my gosh, welcome to 2023. <laughs> Throw those makeup wipes away because you never want to put those on your face. Not only are makeup wipes terrible for your skin, makeup wipes, when you are using them around your eye and you're taking off mascara and you think it's like the perfect way to remove makeup, no, because it's drying out your eyes, it's putting in perfumes and alcohols, everything that you don't want around your under eyes, it's putting on your under eyes. Throw it out, never makeup wipes. Ever. All right, another beauty mistake that I think people are making is applying retinol, retin-A around your eyes. Like you should be staying around the outside of your orbital bone, but I feel like a lot of people are still taking their retinol under their eyes or their retin-A under their eyes. Some people even apply it to their eyelids. That is terrible, you guys. It is going to dry out the skin under your eyes. And if you're already prone to dryness under your eyes, you cannot do that. If you use your retinol or any type of vitamin A on your skin, then it's going to uh, very lightly migrate under your eye anyway. You do not need to put retinol or vitamin A under your eyes. You really don't. Specifically, if you already suffer from dry under eyes, it's going to make your under eyes worse. Okay, so now you know kind of why you have drier under eyes and the situations that can make dry under eyes worse. Let's talk about how to correct and fix dry under eyes because you absolutely can. So number one, you want to be using gentle cleansers. So if you have dry under eyes, don't be using a harsh cleanser to cleanse your skin. Use lukewarm water. You don't want to be using cold and you don't want to be using hot water to cleanse your skin. You always want to be using like a lukewarm water and you don't want to be using any cleansers that have like sodium lauryl sulfate, such ingredients like that that are going to dry out your under eyes. Number two, use hydrating toners. Toners can be taken up under the eyes. My two favorite for hydrating the skin. Oh my gosh, this actually has become a new favorite of mine. The Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist. This is amazing, you guys. This is just like a little sample size. This has stem cells, hydration, and it will leave your skin feeling so soft and hydrated and calm and just so amazing. If you have itchy, flaky, dry skin, this is like a lifesaver. Like I'm literally obsessed with this moisturizing mist. It is amazing. I don't know if you're supposed to do this. I don't know if it's supposed to help, but I've been taking this on my hair because my hair has been dry lately and I swear it has been helping like the dryness in my hair right now because it's so dry here right now. Um, I'm just obsessed. I love this. Take a toner like this. You can absolutely use this under your eyes. Same goes for the Revision Soothing Facial Rinse. I've talked about this before. This builds a healthy skin barrier, soothing, calming ingredients, an amazing toner for dry you know, skin in general, but you can take this up under your eyes at the same time. These two are 
lifesavers and you can absolutely use these under your eyes. Okay, third, you need to pick a hydrating eye cream and you have to pick a eye cream that's gonna really, really help, you know, that dry, creepy skin under your eyes. I actually have a bunch of different options here. I'm gonna start out with my first favorite. It's the SkinCeuticals AGE Eye Complex. I've talked about this for years. I absolutely love it. Not only is it like an eye balm, so it's a very hydrating consistency to begin with and you just kind of dab it under your eyes. Very hydrating. It just takes away crepey skin like nothing else. It firms up the under eyes. You can use it on your eyelid. It is amazing. But again, other eye creams that are gonna really, really help with that dryness because there is, you know, skin circle is not the only one. There's other ones that are gonna really help as well. Illumier MD, the Illumini. I love this. This has amazing moisturizing ingredients. It has an amazing peptide, the Mictrixyl Synthase 6, which is a peptide that stimulates collagen and elastin in your skin, which is amazing for the under eyes, but it also has glutathione and antioxidants, and it is just a true amazing formula. I absolutely love it. As with the Color Science Total Eye, this is another eye balm that is very like balmy in consistency very moisturizing, helps with fine lines and wrinkles, helps with darkness, but hydrating and takes away creepy skin. The Sente Illumina Eye Cream, amazing ingredients, has the HSA, the heparin sulfate, and it is so deeply hydrating. It is so smoothing to the skin, dry, creepy skin, no more, I promise you guys. Plus, both these, actually, the Sente and the Illumiere MD, both have this, like, illuminating kind of like light glow to it, which just makes your under eye just blurred and flawless, like obsessed. And then the other one is the AirMD, the ECM Eye Complex. Again, amazing ingredients, hydrating, soothing to your skin, exactly what your under eye needs to build that hydration so you don't have dry, crepey skin. Those are my favorite, favorite eye creams if you suffer from dry, crepey skin. And again, I will list those all down below for you guys. They'll all be in the description box because those eye creams are key to creating that hydration under your eye and to getting rid of the dryness, getting rid of the crepey skin. What you put on your skin twice a day, you should apply an eye cream twice a day, morning and night. What you apply to your skin every single day is what's going to make the biggest difference. These are my top recommendations for reversing that dryness and reversing that crepey skin. All right, number four, we talked about how concealers and makeup under your eye can create that dryness. And this is a huge one because I see it all the time. There's so many concealers and I look at ingredients all the time. So many popular concealers have terrible drying formulations. And I'm like, oh my gosh, people are applying these to their under eyes and then they're like, why are my under eyes so dry? What's going on? You're applying crappy products to your under eyes that it's creating even more dryness when your under eyes are already so susceptible to dryness. You need to be using good products under your eyes. And these two, I, I've talked about these so many times, I feel like a broken record at this point, but honestly, it's the only thing I use under my eyes. I do not have dry under eyes because I follow all of these tips that I'm giving you guys today. Color Science Total Eye. This is a concealer, it's a primer, it's a SPF. Just like I said, you have to be using an SPF under your eye. This is a mineral SPF. You apply it every single day under your eyes. It has anti-aging ingredients. It has a tint. You can use this as concealer alone, and a lot of days I do. Um, it's amazing. It has a mineral SPF of 35, you guys. I have it on today along with the Oxygenetics Concealer, and these are the two best options if you want to stop dryness under your eyes, if you want to reverse it. You need to stop using concealers that are drying out your under eyes and stop using products that are terrible, that have terrible ingredients for your under eyes. These two I highly recommend. Color Science SPF 35, Plus, you can use it as a concealer. I use the shade Medium. It comes in four different shades, fair, medium, tan, and deep. I am in the shade Medium, followed by the Oxygenetics Concealer. This concealer is a full coverage concealer. If you take this, and a little bit goes a long way, if you take it and you apply it and you pat it around your eyes with your finger, 
full coverage. Does not look like makeup, does not dry out your under eyes. This is actually skincare. You could, like, I hate to say this because you never want to sleep with makeup on ever, but technically you could sleep in this because it is not like causing any irritation to your skin. It is allowing oxygen into your skin, which most makeup doesn't do. This is the only type of makeup you can use post procedure. So this is really truly the best concealer because not only does it look like skin, it's amazing for more mature skin, but it's not causing dryness and it's not looking dry under your eyes. There's so many concealers on the market that just just are causing so many issues for the under eye and people don't even realize it. You need to be using proper makeup products that don't cause dryness. And this is the best. Okay, next tip. We need to stop using those makeup wipes. You need to be taking off your makeup in a proper fashion. Now, this is what I personally use and I swear by. It's the Isden Micellar Solution. This is a hydrating micellar water that is so amazing to take off SPF, to take off that eye makeup. It is not gonna dry out your under eyes. There's a lot of makeup removing products, again, that is drying out your skin. This actually creates hydration within your skin. This has been proven to stimulate and create hydration for 24 hours after you use this on your skin. Now, I use this every single night as my first step in cleansing off makeup and SPF. And then I go in with my cleansers. Um, I highly recommend this. I also highly recommend the Bioderma. I will link all of those down below. I used to use the Bioderma until I discovered the Isden Micellar, which I actually find even more hydrating and better for my skin, better ingredients. Um, I just love it. But you really want to watch how you take off your makeup at night. Okay, my last trick to reversing that dry skin under your eyes, to reversing that crepey skin, these. This is like my like little miracle working trick. These are the Color Science Total Eye Hydro Gel Treatment Mask. So they come in this box and they come in these individual packets. You put them on and I have a picture. I'll, I use them all the time. I'll post a picture right here because I posted one on my Instagram the other day. I use these about like two to three nights a week. They're a little eye masks that you put under your eyes after you like cleanse your skin. These will boost the hydration under your eyes so much. You know, like when your under eyes are dry, crepey, dehydrated, you see every little line and wrinkle. After you put these on, and it says to leave them on for like 10, 15 minutes, you can leave these on longer. It's not gonna do any harm. It's just putting that hydration into your skin. So I will leave these on. I'll watch TV, I'll watch a movie, whatever. You know, my husband gets to look at me with these cute little masks on. Um, I will leave these on and then take them off. And I'm not even kidding. You will see such a difference. Your under eyes are plump the little lines and dehydrated wrinkles are gone and you will see such a difference. This boosts the hydration under your eyes so much and it's not just like a temporary thing. So everything I'm sharing with you guys today, you have to keep up. It's not like a one and done thing. You have to keep it up. So everything I shared with you guys today, these are the tips, these are the tricks that I personally do. I don't have dry under eyes because I do all of these things myself. So I hope it helped you out. Again, I will link everything that I mentioned in this video. I will link it down below in the description box with shopping links and coupon codes because a lot of this I carry on skintruth.com, which is my website in case you didn't know. Um, and I think that's it for today, you guys. I hope this video helped you out. Again, this is a question I get asked all the time because as we get older, it sucks. Our under eyes become dry, dehydrated, crepey, but I promise you all of these tips will reverse that. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys.